Hey, this is Paul from Mobile Trans Wondershare. And let me ask you a quick question. How many of you use your phone every day as your main camera? I think probably quite a lot of you. So let's go through it and list our top five favorite cameras on smartphones. Let's start with number one, and this is the iPhone 12 Pro. Let's talk about that camera then. And on the back, you have three cameras, all 12 megapixel sensors in all of them, which is a really good thing. And a 13 millimeter equivalent in that ultra wide lens and a 52 millimeter telephoto lens. The 12 Pro does have LiDAR and that does help slightly when you're using nighttime shots and when it is very dark. One of the best things though about the photos here on the iPhone 12 Pro is it has that smart HDR3 and deep fusion, which makes these photos look even better. It corrects that lens distortion when you're actually shooting with that wider lens. And now these photos on that ultra wide camera do just look incredible. There's also video night mode, which was something that was really nice that was actually brought over to the iPhone 12 Pro this year. And it makes the video on this look even better. You then also have that dual LED flash, which really does help and make photos in complete darkness if you don't want to use night mode look really good. So the best things about the iPhone 12 Pro are that when you have that HDR enabled on some of these photos, these photos look incredible. And then also that autofocus when you want to try and focus in on a subject is nice and quick. Right, okay, so the next phone is the Galaxy S20 Ultra. Let's have a look at that camera on the back then, shall we? And this is a quad lens module that includes a 108 megapixel main sensor. You then have that 10 times lossless zoom that offers up to 100 times in digital power. Those photos on that 100 times zoom lens do sometimes look a little bit bad if you go in 100 times, but the fact that you have the ability to do it on this phone is incredible. If you are someone that really likes to take selfies and put them all over the place as well, then you will be happy with this one or maybe not because this has a 40 megapixel selfie camera. The problem though with this is it is very expensive, but the photos that it can take are groundbreaking. So it'll be really interesting to see what that S21 Ultra can do in the next couple of weeks. The Huawei P40 Pro is the next camera that we're gonna talk about on phones in this list. Okay, let's talk about the cameras in this phone. So you have that ultra wide 18 millimeter, 40 megapixel, 1.8 lens on the back. That wide and main lens is a 50 megapixel F1.9 lens. And then you also have that zoom lens, which is a 12 12 megapixel one as well and that does have built-in optical image stabilization. If you deep dive a little bit further, the RYYB color filter has the green subpixels replaced by yellow ones. And Huawei says that yellow allows the sensor to collect up to 40 times more light than the regular RGGB filter. And this change should translate into better image quality in low light photography. We also have improved autofocus. So now it's an all pixel omnidirectional phase detection autofocus, which if you don't know what that means, it just means that the autofocus has got a lot better. The TOF camera also speeds up the autofocus and it also improves the subject separation and provides a more convincing background defocusing in portrait mode. So portrait photos on this Huawei P40 Pro can look very, very good. And then that ultra wide camera is just unmatched by any other phone. So the P40 Pro really takes that as well. And the only problem that you have with this is when you take long range shots, so it is very good, but sometimes it just has that slight red tinge to the photo, which just ruins it just a little bit. No list of top cameras on phones would be complete without having in a Google Pixel. So we have the Google Pixel 5. The Pixel 5 is a little bit different to the other cameras on this list because this only has a dual camera setup, but do not let that fool you. The main lens though on this camera is 12.2 megapixel and takes some of the best photos on this entire list. There's also some optical image stabilization built into this as well. The ultra wide though is a 16 megapixel sensor and you get a 107 degree field of view and that lens is just incredible because it also has that LED flash. Pixel phones aren't always known for the best video either, but this phone can actually record in 4K at 60 frames a second. And if you really want to, you can do 1080p up to 240 frames per second. And you know what? That does not look too bad either. The best thing though about it is just how those photos look. So once you've taken them on a pixel, they just look incredible. And there are some decent cameras around this price range of the Google Pixel 5, but the Google Pixel just takes it. And the final phone on this list for cameras is that Oppo Find X2 Pro. On this Oppo, you actually get a triple camera setup. 
The primary lens is a 48 megapixel lens with a quad Bayer sensor and a 25.46 millimeter equivalent, which also we have that optical image stabilization. You get an ultra wide of 48 megapixels. And then that telephoto lens is a 13 megapixel sensor. And that can look incredible as well. And you also have that optical image stabilization built in. On all of these cameras, you get PDAF and you get that dual LED flash. If you're someone that doesn't like just to take photos and likes to take video as well, then you get 4K at 60 frames per second video with HDR built in. So that means that the videos on this phone can look incredible. The autofocus works really well in both photos and videos. And that is something here at Mobile Trans that we really like. And it delivers a really balanced performance in most categories, no matter which one you choose. There we go, our top five favorite cameras in smartphones that you can buy right now. So if you enjoyed this video, why not like and comment on it as well? And let us know if your favorite phone or camera made it into this list. And if you'd like to subscribe to the channel, that means you won't miss out on any more of the videos that we do here on Mobile Trans. So we will see you on the next video.